and people don't want to hear this. The reason we got the we got the flood Houston is solely because we had one out there running around putting shit together. Okay. Who was that one? Brain. You name me another nigga that was out there running around. See, see, that's what I just but said to a nigga the other day. He was running around because he loved pussy. <laughs> And that was what's driving him to catch his. You can't get pussy if you don't get no money. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Um, why is it that when H-Town artists get on, and they still to this day, they dip into Dallas and, and, and you know, we show them so much love. Um, why don't it happen the other way? H-Town so like, Dallas people love. No, meaning, meaning... When they go down there, do they do they go do shows down there? Is, is they, you know I'm, what I'm saying? I only can speak for give me. me. Give me. I know they show me love. I ain't tripping on I'm, that. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about artist wise. I'm, I'm, as an artist, we made so much money in Houston. We bought an apartment in Houston. We stayed on West Hammer and uh the freeway. That was when you, when Mister Hit That was man was booming. We, we used to stay with a lady named Miss Chandra, our manager at the time. This is, this is all facts. And, and at the biggest niggas was uh, Boom. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He's still holding Boom it down yeah. out there. And goddamn, he'll tell you, we was booked every other week. In, in H-Town. What? Why come others, can uh, do others figure it out? Do you see that still happening to this day? Be real. I don't think they utilizing Houston, how, de- how Houston utilizes you, Dallas. You, that's what I'm saying. That That's what I was getting at. Like, is it, is because it they us? Is because it Dallas doing that? I'm going to tell you like this, and people don't want to hear this. The reason we got the we got the flood of Houston is solely because we had one out there running around putting shit together. Okay. Who was that one? Brain. You name me another nigga that was out there running around. See, see, that's what I just but said to a nigga the other day. He was running around because he loved pussy. <laughs> and that was what's driving him to catch his. You can't get pussy if you don't get no money. So it was a two for one for him. I was with him. So I'm just saying. So in that run, that's how that shit came about. That's how, how so many Dallas niggas got the run, rip and run through Houston. Because at that time, it was so many different small clubs that we could attack for 15, 2000. But now, niggas want so much money, you can't attack it like that. But now you lose the groundwork. Now you now you go in escalator mode and not the steps. See, we got to go through the steps. Do you think Rainwater was a big part of uh, the boogie movement like that? Man, f- right, bro. So you give him his credit. Yeah, man. I mean, but if, if a nigga don't give him his credit, they're a liar. Or they're a hater. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And because the catch is, we don't get booked. And he was a bullshit nigga. It's a bullshit nigga. Fool, nigga, bullshit nigga. That's my dog. He's a bullshit nigga. And I call him on all the time. I love him. That nigga, though. He do bullshit. But the catch is, his response is, they did bullshit to me first. And they didn't think I was going to know. So I can't, get a mad, I can't get mad on a man playing the situation at hand. Because the game of life is not chess. Because chess is fair. Everybody get the same amount of pieces. Everybody can move the same apart way. It's just how you move. That's not life, my nigga. That's strategy. That means that nigga, did you did you move your neck or did you move your queen? Did you use your pawns or did you use your mother me uh bishop? That's that's chess, that's strategy. Nigga, in this game we got nigga is chuckles. What you mean hit that is chuckles? Because the catch is nigga, once I lose my piece, I can't get them back. Chess, you get your pieces back. If you know about chess, yeah. you can get your pieces back. Checkers, nigga, once they gone, it's gone. So now if I jump three, four of your ass, now you got to adjust with what you got, and it is what it is, and the moves are simple. One, two, three. The catch is, didn't nobody make the moves to go one, two, three, but that. Wow. You got to wow. think about it, nigga. This nigga didn't got, this nigga didn't got cases. This nigga got shot. They could have been killed doing this shit. Yeah. He deserved everything he got. No matter how he went about it. Now, my morals might not do the same he did, but the catch is, I don't know what's in his life to make his morals the way they is. I don't know what trauma he had to for him to be like that. And nigga, I don't know what trauma you got to make you like that. That's it. You went to jail. You know what I'm saying? So you have to learn certain shit that I couldn't even fathom. So I can't expect me to walk in your shoes. I can only try to understand and comprehend and adjust accordingly. A lot of niggas want to complain and be but ain't nobody adjusting accordingly. You, I got five people I'm going to name. Or it could be groups or whatever. And when I say them, I want you to tell me what you think about those people as far as when, what comes to mind. Mr. Lucha and Pookie. I love those guys. 
I love, I love, I'm going to break them down. I love Mr. Pookie because... I'ma jump it off, straight up ripping, pop my clipping, best the word to the buster that's tripping. Despite whatever he going through, I don't know if he going through something or not. He's always popping outside. He's always showing love. And if you ever interview him, ask him how he that feel about him. I stop the club and go through a seven, eight song Pookie mix because that's what I grew up. I used to ride the five five four on Lit Better before they put the train tracks there to get to my grandma's house in Highland Hills, College Park to be exact, on Strawberry and Tioga, and listen to that nigga music that I recorded off Greg Street on the radio on my little tape, tape little Walkman. You know what I'm saying? That's showing my age, but damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then Mr. Lucci. I don't wanna. What he did, being a young nigga going to jail, coming back, still staying solid on his morals and values, the way he carry himself, even to this day. And you can't do nothing but respect him. And he did something for the culture Dallas never seen. He made a movie, The Triple D. Man, Fat Pimp. Fat Pimp, a legend. Great father. Still working, he's iconic, and he don't get the credit that he deserved with the power of his records, like on those on that big stage. Like they don't understand how big Rack Daddy was. It'll, it'll make an arena move. You know what I'm saying? But great dude, man. And he and he business oriented. He got a lot of shit going on behind the scenes that a lot of people don't know. And I see my nigga get kicked out a few baseball games. <laughs> with he, the kids. He, yeah, that, nigga, that nigga rowdy father like me, but he, he don't know how to control this. <laughs> D.O.C. A little something for the brethren. With intellect you truly understand it. It's like a message from the one who's getting canned. I don't know, bro. You never met D.O.C.? Never met him. In your life? Never. Wow. That's crazy. I only, I only know about the, the movie and what I done read and the iconicness of his, his penmanship. And he got a baby by Eric Badu. I heard a whisper in the breeze mm -hmm. long before. I didn't know that neither. You got a daughter by her. The uh, the, the daughter, daughter? Yeah, Puma. that's his daughter. That's his daughter. For real? Yeah. Didn't know you that. You didn't even know that. I seen Puma at the Eric Badu show. <laughs> that's his daughter. Man, Eric Badu got down, seen me in the crowd and waved at me before I got it on camera. Bro, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You did not know that was his daughter. No, man, not know that, man. But I understand that nigga a goat, <laughs> boy, because that's 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 that is that is top tier. Yeah, that yeah. is that's that's the Mount Rushmore. <laughs> And man, so just, to, I didn't even just to know. say you didn't got to goddamn me tamper with anything of that nature is immaculate. Kudos to that man. <laughs> you say it, yeah, that that gave him a, a whole other perspective. What? <laughs> Undeniable. <laughs> I mean, Jamaica, you know you, you like skin beautiful queen, but it's it's some about a thick, dark skin woman, dog. I'm That's talking about crazy. that nigga is a man. I <laughs> need to shake that nigga a hand. Man, make that happen, dog. I got you. I talk to my guy. That's that. my guy. Hey, boy, you a bad motherfucker, <laughs> boy. I'm talking about. Yeah, man. And he ain't, he ain't get word too. He just nah, kept chilling. Man, nigga, I didn't get <laughs> Why the fuck we don't talk well, about I that? When I interviewed him, he said he, he had seen her walking down uh, uh, Lamar. I'm like, what? He like, yeah, that's when I hollered when back out the young. second time. Nah, when he hollered back out after he had the man and came back home, he seen her walking on Lamar. And I seen her, and I hadn't seen her since since I left. So you knew her before? Oh yeah, we was. Uh, you know, we went to parties as kids. Okay. And you always had a crush on her? No. <laughs> no. She was just a little skinny girl with knocking knees. <laughs> Back then, she always had some really pretty eyes. Yeah, she but, does. But when she came, when I when I saw her at the Hip Hop Summit, that was different. That was different. <laughs> that was she different. grown. Yeah, she she grew. Mm -hmm. And she was Eric Badu at the time. She was really dope. That was my first time seeing her in many years. And a couple of days later, I saw her at the south side on the mall. Mm -hmm. And uh, saw her walking somewhere. I yelled out the window, told her to come up to the flat. She came up and kept coming back, you know. And we just developed a, a relationship. Yeah, a friendship because we understood. Right. Yeah. She was and young, did still. She was like twenty. I don't know, but I'm thinking, what the hell is Erica? But that, she was she, she had the Grammys. She still had to, she do that. Now she really like that, and that's hard. That's what I loved about when he said, "I'm like, what?" Nah, I, like, didn't, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't ran it. I didn't ran it to Andre three thousand at least four times in Dallas, just on some rando shit. 
Wow. You know what I'm saying? I was just so appreciative of his presence. I, I didn't want to ask for a picture. I was just like, damn, bro, that's Andre, bro. Like this Tim on right, it's Andre, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I was Did you also, talk to him? Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I do respect he 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 not one of those guys that uh, right, right, right. So yeah. it's like, man, you just hey, appreciate the man's presence. Keep it moving. I gotta ask you about uh I got more. Uh baby, gotta ask you about baby. Girl. Mm. I still love the white girl. Mm. Bitch, I'm turning. What, what comes to mind when you when you when I say baby? He's a Hollywood pi- baby. He's the pioneer of room shifting. That's Meaning, plain. like undeniably, can't nobody compare to the amount of rooms he didn't shifted in his lifetime, and I didn't been present to to see it on more than one occasion, and I love to be a part of that that small group of people that can be a room shifter. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't know what a room shifter is, meaning if he gets on that mic, the room will erupt. And I don't know if y'all never been, I got the ability to do that. I'm blessed. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's people, some people could try to mimic that shit, but it's in you. Mm. Like, mm. I'm talking about whether, I'm talking about whether we at an elementary school on career day to we in front of 20,000 people at a festival or whatever, or we at a club with a thousand people, he a room shifter, dog. And the catch is, he he has a major part in the Dallas Boogie movement too. You know what I'm saying? For, for him to carry two cities on his back, it's dope as shit. Mm. Because that's hard, because you got to think about it. As long as he doing shit for Dallas, Louisiana people going to hate him. As long as he doing shit for Louisiana, People in Dallas gonna hate him. You know what I'm saying? I'm gifted with ability to understand that with me being in a position I'm in, there's a trial that got me put me against him or someone of his magnitude because people love the underdog mm. until you're the big dog and then when you get a big dog, they don't want you no more because they feel like they can't reciprocate the benefits of life from what you got going on. So to know that and understand the position big dog in and on the radio dog he, he's he's undeniable my wow man it's just something you never would think that you guys been working together all that long that many years like you yeah. guys have and see I don't get the I don't get an opportunity <clears throat> to 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 actually like work with him but to be a fly on the room on the little days that I do like probably like five to ten times a year I can catch him in action it's like you just gotta appreciate greatness because you know he's gonna go down in the book of like Radio Hall of Fame at some point. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.